Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to use the printf function in C. So printf allows you to basically print some text to your console, it could be output terminal, whatever, that's fine. So we've got a very basic C program here. To use printf, you need to do hash include at the top, less than angle bracket, stdio dot h, greater than so this just you know stands for standard input output so it allows you to do input and output we're just covering output at the moment i'll cover input in a separate video so to use printf it's really simple you put printf open parenthesis and quotation marks put some text in there let's say if we do the typical hello world and semicolon at the end as usual to do run code and we'll save it run code there we go it says hello world so that's for the most part really all you need to know you can format it by putting stuff like a new line character in there as well so if we put backslash in which is a new line character hello and world will be on separate lines so you can do that the other thing is obviously we haven't covered variables in this video i've got separate videos covering variables but if you have a variable for example say int age equals 87 for example and let's say so if i comment this out for my, for now and i want to do printf age is say if we put age is 87 save that that's fine but if i obviously was to change that it's not reflected in here so we want to link this age variable into this printf statement so instead of putting 87 where we want the variable you put percent i then at the end after the last quotation mark you put comma then the variable so age and if i save that click run age is 85 if i change that to 67 run that you'll say age is 67 and you can have as many variables as you want in there so let's say if i put percent i percent i so that's expecting three variables now so let's say if i just put int age 2 equals 89 int age 3 equals 9 and then you just need to make sure you put it here so comma age two comma age three so you need to put these in the correct order so if you want age to be the first one you put it as the first one first variable and the this could potentially be over there they don't have to be next to it and um, if i save that run it there we go you get that as well so that's just for integer variables and you don't have to specifically put a variable you could just put a number there as long as it's of a integer type that's what percent i signifies it's fine but if, what if you have a character you have a string you have a float you have different types of data types don't worry i'll provide a link in the description to this little page and on there it just shows you the different you know specifiers so for you know integer it's i for character it's c for floating points or decimals it's f so you just put percent f for example and yeah it literally everyone is covered on here so they put percent d then percent c for example and that's what you do so depending on what type of variable you are data type you're using you just use the relevant one and you can format your string as as you want to so it makes it dynamic as well so that's the printf function in a nutshell if you have any questions feel free to join the discord group there's a link in the description and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video